Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing an updated heels collection. So sometime last year, I did my heel collection and I'm going to be posting it down in the description bar below. And I got a lot of views, okay? So I'm about to do my updated heel collection. Obviously, I have more shoes than I had last year. So I'm going to be showing you guys. The video that I posted last year, it had a lot of pumps in there and it's gonna be a little bit different today because you know i'm not really into the pumps anymore i kind of like gravitated towards the, the sandal heels so that's what you guys are gonna be seeing today now i'm gonna be posting um the link not the link but basically where i got the shoes from because i can't i don't know if i can find a link to the shoes but i do more of my shoe shopping in store than i do online all right so i shop in store at as Fashion Metro or City Trends. Online, Fashion Nova, or sometimes Amazon. Now, as Fashion Metro is one of the like the best stores, you can get really inexpensive shoes as well as City Trends. Now, as Fashion Metro, the shoes go as high as $25, 30. The highest, uh, the highest price for shoes in this Fashion Metro is at least $35. She doesn't go higher than that. City Trends is the same thing. The highest you can go for shoes is about 25 to 30 dollars now these are places you can go and get like really nice shoes for cheap cheap i'm not playing cheap 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 i'm shopping in store because i can try it on you know see how it fits my leg walk around with it make sure that i can really walk good in it i don't fashion nova they do have really nice shoes but they're on the like high side you know, you get shoes for like 50, 55, 60, up until like $80, $85 for shoes. No problems there. I can shop there. But now, that's a gamble. If you want to get shoes online, there's a chance that it's going to be too tight. There's a chance it's going to be too loose. There's a chance you're not going to like the shoe in person, you know. So I'd rather go in store, try the shoes on, make sure it fits before I purchase them. That's why I have this fashion and city trends. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna show you guys the shoes and put the little, you know, put the name of the store that I got it from. Either City Trends, it's Fashion Metro. Now, I don't know if I can find a link for the Fashion Nova shoes, but I'm gonna look. If I don't, I'll just let you know that it's from Fashion Nova. You can just go on their site, look at their shoe collection side, and you might find the shoe there, you might not, but you will definitely see something else that you like. Now, for this Fashion Metro and City Trends, look. Let me tell you something, you guys. The cheapest shoe you can get in City Trends or a Fashion Metro is at least $15. Now, it's Fashion Metro usually has a clearance section where you can get like cheap shoes for like $10, $11, $13. Not guaranteed to find something you like there. But if you go in there to get the regular shoes for $25, $30, trust me, they really have beautiful heels. Pumps, sandal heels, anything you're looking for, they have it there. City Trends is the same thing. They do have the clearance section as well. But the, cho the shoes are mad cheap. Mad cheap. $15, $16. The highest you can go for City Trends high heels is $20. No cap. So I'm going to let you guys know where I got the shoes from. I'm going to show you the shoes, show where I got you from. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of sandal heels. So don't judge a sister, okay? It's not like I don't like pump. I love pumps, but... I'm just in my Santa Hill phase right now. So you guys, without further ado, let me show you the next slide is gonna be me trying on the heels. Don't go anywhere. See you guys later. Bye. 